Hi, I'm Simon. Welcome back to my channel, Crooked Imaging. Um, right, today uh, there's been a firmware update for the DJI Mini 2 drone. Um, so let's have a look and see what this update entails. So it uh, it came out it came out earlier today. Uh, I haven't had a chance to go out and fly the uh, the KP index is uh, is unfortunately it's five today, so I would not recommend flying when uh, when the uh, the KP index is that high because that's uh, the geomagnetic interference and that can cause problems with uh, with satellites. So I decided not to go out and fly, but uh, because this uh, this firmware update has come out today, I thought I would share with you. I'm going to do the the update live with you so you can see that the update works fine with the drone. Uh, and then in a future video, I will take it out and fly it, and I'm going to talk to you about some of the updates, and I'm going to have to do a test on uh, one of those updates to see whether that's actually worked as well. So, let's get to it. So, I am going into uh, to the app. So, I've got the drone on. The drone's got the fully charged battery in it. Always make sure you've got fully charged battery in the drone, fully charged battery in the controller. Uh, I've connected the controller up to the uh, the app, and as you can see, there is a firmware update available. 49.6 megabytes. Um, so let's take a look and see what the update entails. So the update is downloading, as you can see, and we have added support for DJI Smart Controller. So if you've already got a Smart Controller, this is great news. Um, you will need a firmware update on your smart controller, but this means you can use the DJI Mini Drone with your smart controller. Uh, optimized gimbal for FPV mode. Uh, I'll be honest, I've never used FPV mode on the uh, on the Mini, so I will go out and test that. Um, but uh, but they have made some uh, updates to the uh, the way the gimbal works when you're in FPV mode. Uh, we've got opt all optimized auto discharge process for battery. Um, so that one is in reference to the batteries not discharging properly uh, when they're in the uh, hub or in the uh, drone itself. Uh, so when the batteries are fitted in the hub or in the drone, they do not discharge like they should do. So after one day, they should discharge down to 96%, uh, I believe it is. And then after nine days, it should discharge down to 70%. Um, but they're not at the moment when the batteries are fitted in the hub and fitted in the drone. Uh, and we've also got improved flight stability and greatly reduced quantity of compass calibration prompts. Um, so that's when you, uh, you go out and fly and the drone prompts you to uh, to calibrate the compass. So they're saying that you will see that less regular. I don't see it that often. Um, I wouldn't say I see it any more with the, uh, with the Mini 2 than I do with, uh, say, my Phantom 4 uh, or Mavic 2 Pro. Um, I see it quite frequently on those. So whether that's actually made much of a difference or not, I don't know. Um, but uh, that's what the improvement is showing. So... I think probably the uh, the two biggest updates that have been made uh, to this firmware update are the support for the smart controller. Um, as I say, that's awesome. So if you've got an Air 2S or an Air 2, Phantom 4 Pro, Mavic 2 Pro, Zoom, Enterprise, all of those uh, are supported with the smart controller. And obviously now, so is the, uh, the, the Mini 2. So if you've got a smart controller, that's, you know, that's that's great news if you've got a Mini 2 as well. Um, but both of them have to be on the latest firmware. Uh, and I think the other one is the optimised auto discharge of the batteries. So there's been quite a lot of controversy about the fact that batteries don't discharge properly. Uh, it's not dangerous um, if you take the batteries out of the, uh, of the drone. But if you do have a habit of leaving the batteries in the hub, and to be fair, why wouldn't you? Because um, after all, that's the perfect storage for the batteries. Um, if you don't go out and fly for a week, two weeks, five weeks, then those batteries are going to be sitting there at 100%, and that is going to degrade the life of those batteries. Um, and we don't want that. So uh, our recommendations has always been take the batteries out of the uh, 
out of the charge hub and store them in the lipo bag and to be fair you should do that anyway it's always recommended um i'm just going to try and find it i have a lipo bag and what i'll do is i'll put uh, put a link down in the um in the description for this but something something like this so so it's a lipo safe bag so it's made of kevlar inside and uh, you can show you you can store store your batteries in there and it just gives just gives some protection um that if something untoward does happen with the battery then there is some protection uh, away from the from the fire and stuff like that uh, so hopefully it's not going to cause any any real damage but you should always you should always store your lipo batteries safely whether it be in a lipo bag tin uh one of the other things that i also use is a uh, uh ammo tin uh, well, i've actually got a world war ii ammo tin and again you know if they do catch on fire hopefully with because they're contained within a metal tin it should cause much less damage so it's always worth rec you know i always recommend storing them in there anyway so i didn't have too many issues with the fact that um uh, the batteries didn't discharge if you keep them in the hub so uh, my, my my practice was always to, uh, to to put them in the hub if i'm traveling somewhere to do a to do a photo shoot uh use the batteries and then come back um if you charge them up then i put them in a lipo bag and then if i don't use them for a week then they'll discharge down to uh down to 70 percent and then you can recharge them just before you go out onto onto your next uh, next flight uh right so we have uh update successful when you, the aircraft automatically powers off restart the aircraft so it has switched off there we go so i'm going to switch it back on again So I'm going to do that with all three batteries because the firmware update does include updating the firmware that is on the battery. So I would recommend going through this process with uh, with all three batteries if it prompts you to. It should automatically update the firmware when you put the battery in the in the drone. Um, so you will, as I say, need to do that with all three batteries. So let's have a look. Yep. So there we go. It says there DJI Mini 2 firmware update successful. Now if I go go fly. Here we go. And you will see me. Oh, let's stick that in auto mode so it correctly exposes. There we go. It uh, it seems uh, all to be working. And as I say, I wouldn't expect to see any real changes actually in the phone app. Um, purely because... The, the app itself hasn't been updated so the, it's, it's, a, it's a drone update not an app update um, so if I now go into about we can now see that the aircraft firmware is at 1.03 so that's the latest uh, latest firmware uh, the RC firmware is 411006 I'm going to check that's the latest version, and you can check that in the um, in the app. Uh, sorry, in the um, DJI Assistant software. So I'm going to double check to make sure that that's that's updated to the latest version. Um, and FlySafe database has uh, is just check that. Oh, yep, we need to update that as well. So I'm going to quickly update that. There we go. That is successfully updated. So there we go. So we're not getting any any updates. So what I'll do is I'll change the batteries. And just make sure that all three have been power cycled in the drone. power cycle the power cycle might be a little bit uh, a little bit slow 
because it's doing that update to the uh, to the batteries. There we go. See, it's actually given me an indication that there is a firmware update. Now I've changed the battery, so we will hit update. If you let me, there we go. So yes, so you need to do this with with all of your batteries that you have for your Mini Two as well. So if you've got you know, five batteries, ten batteries, you need to do it with each one of those. And I would recommend doing that before you go out and fly it, so that it you. You've, everything is up to date before you uh, before you go and fly the drone, right? Now I have three batteries, so I will do it with all three. There we go, and we've got an indication that the battery firmware update is successful. Aircraft powered off automatically. So I will put the third battery in. Do the same thing again. Message. There we go. Yep, firmware update. Let's just quickly do that. There we go. Oh. There we go. So all three batteries have been updated. Just to power up the drone. I'm going to have a quick look. I'm going to have a quick look in the app just to see if I can see anything that's changed. Obviously, I'm not out flying, so I can't look at any of the flying specs. And we are going to be getting some uh, some thunderstorms tonight as well. So uh, not the best of days to be uh, be trying new firmware updates. All right. So everything is done. All the batteries are done. Let's go into the app. Obviously, you always go into the app, make sure your maximum altitude and all of those things are all the same. Yeah, nothing, nothing there has changed. Nothing there has changed. Nothing there has changed. Nope. So within the app, everything looks to be normal. So there we go. Let me do these notes. So the remote controller, if it has been updated, should be 4.11.0016. So I am going to just double check that. And what version have we got? 4.11.0016. So we have successfully updated the drone and we have successfully updated the controller and all three batteries. So we are ready to fly. I'm going to quickly make sure the drone actually powers on, ready for flight. You can probably hear it in the background. I don't recommend actually taking off and flying indoors, so I'm going to stop that. But everything has powered up, so um, from that, I am happy that the firmware update hasn't caused any reason not to do the uh, to perform the update. And hopefully, in the next video, maybe tomorrow, um, I will go out test fly it and make sure everything is performing as it should. So I hope you really like this video. Don't forget hit that like button hit the subscribe button uh, for any and hit the notification button so that you are notified of when I bring out my next video so hope you enjoyed that hope you found it useful and I will speak to you again soon bye for now